Alrighty. <laughs> She's up. Are you ready for some good news? And she's gone. First up, scientists have created an antibody capable of targeting 99% of HIV strains. The antibody is the product of researchers at Sanofi, a French pharmaceutical company with an American branch headquartered in Bridgewater, New Jersey. American Sanofi researchers, in collaboration with the National Institutes of Health, engineered the antibody by combining three naturally occurring HIV antibodies into one. Some patients with HIV infections eventually develop what are called broadly neutralizing antibodies, which attack many different strains of HIV. By combining three of these broadly neutralizing antibodies, the Sanofi researchers produced a tri-specific antibody capable of attacking 99% of HIV strains, making it more broadly effective than any naturally occurring HIV antibody ever found. In monkey trials, the tri-specific antibody was able to prevent HIV infection in every subject to whom it was administered. Human clinical trials start next year. The paper on the tri-specific antibody is published in the journal Science. Next up, researchers at the University of Florida have developed a gene therapy that could reverse multiple sclerosis. The therapy involves using an adeno-associated virus to introduce a gene that codes for a particular brain protein into the liver. The protein has previously been shown to prevent the progression of MS. When introduced into the liver, it triggered the production of regulatory T cells that were able to calm the out of control immune response that causes MS. In animal models, this gene, combined with the drug rapamycin, which is typically prescribed to prevent the rejection of transplanted organs, was able to halt and reverse MS. 80% of subjects in a mouse model who received the therapy entered near complete remission and still showed no sign of the disease seven months later. Further research is needed to better understand how the introduction of the gene is able to prevent and reverse MS before human trials can begin. But for now, the researchers are hopeful that one day this therapy could bring relief and restoration to some of the two million people living with MS around the world. The paper on this new gene therapy is published in the journal Molecular Therapy. And finally, scientists at the University of Manchester have created molecular robots capable of building new molecules. I guess the word of the day is molecular. The tiny robots are made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen atoms and measure only about a millionth of a millimeter in length. The design of the robots includes an arm which allows them to carry out simple tasks, including constructing new molecules. The robots can be programmed by entering commands with chemical inputs. The scientists at the University of Manchester's School of Chemistry who designed them compare them to robots used on assembly lines at automobile factories, performing similar jobs just on a much smaller scale. Among the applications for which these tiny robots might be suited are miniaturization of existing technology and drug development. The paper on these molecular robots is published in the journal Nature. And what have we learned today? Adi, would you like to take this one? No, you are actually snoring. Okay, so an engineered antibody can attack 99% of known HIV strains. A new gene therapy is able to reverse multiple sclerosis and tiny molecular robots are able to build molecules like cars on an assembly line. That's the good news. Mustn't wake the cat, but I just wanted to tell you thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Adi. I'm a dick. <laughs>